Recording in FL Studio can be difficult. But it doesn't have to be. In FL Studio, there's so many ways to record your vocals, but we're only gonna be talking about the ones that I feel are gonna be your most beneficial for a song, a track, or a project that you're working on. Not to mention, it's also going to be the easiest way to get your vocals into FL Studio. Let's get into it. That sounded pretty dope, right? So right away, I loaded a new template an empty template to start your project from nothing. In order to get your vocals recorded into FL Studio, you have to assign an audio track. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is you can go to any insert in the mixer and you can right click and assign to a new audio track. Once you click here, it's automatically going to assign your audio track in the playlist as well as the mixer. The other way to do it is assigning your audio through your playlist. It essentially does the same thing. You just right click on the audio track, go to track mode, audio track, and assign it to insert one or insert 125, you choose. So we're just gonna stick with insert one. And as you can see, it is now assigned to your mixer and a audio track in your playlist. The next thing that you wanna do, you just wanna go through each option in order to get your vocals prepped and ready to record. You could start with insert one, the audio input source. Right now it's selected at none, but what we wanna do is select our first mono input or whatever source that you have for your equipment. For me, it's going to be this one, so I'm gonna select it. We're gonna choose the recording option, external input only. So it's only recording our vocals and nothing else. It's not applying any effects that are gonna be in the mixer. It's just going to be our dry vocals. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the arm or disarm for recording and turn that on. Once it's turned on, you'll see that the signal is being picked up. Now, when you wanna start recording, all you have to do is hit the record button. You might get this option right here. What would you like to record? I would just select audio into the playlist as an audio clip, or you could choose everything. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to choose audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Now we are ready to record. A little hidden gem for you guys. So you wanna right click the record button. Under options, it's going to give you three different options that you can choose that will help you when recording a song. The first option is going to be recording starts on playback. So what that means, if this is checked, every time you press the record button or the letter R on your keyboard, it's going to start counting down and you're able to record your vocals. The other option is disarm on stop. Once this option is selected, we're just gonna press R to record. It's going to count down. Now it's recording my vocals. And as soon as I'm finished, I could press the spacebar button. It's going to turn the record button off. Such a handy tool. It's an awesome gem to have. These are gonna be my preferences right here, especially when recording vocals for a song. The next thing that we're gonna be talking about is loop recording and blend recording. If you select loop recording, highlight a certain part in your playlist. And how I'm highlighting, I am right clicking and dragging on the timeline. Once you have a highlighted part, press the record button, R, it's counting down. It is now recording our vocals and it's constantly looping. So once it hits the end, it's gonna constantly loop again. When loop recording is turned on, it mutes the previous track that was recorded. So once you're all done, you can press spacebar to stop recording. You're gonna see that it's all muted. So you will have to use the mute tool to unmute everything. In addition to having loop recording on, there's blend recording. As you know, with loop recording, it muted each previous vocal take. If blend recording is on, it's not gonna mute each previous vocal take that was recorded. For example, if I press the record button while the loop recording and blend recording is on, countdown. So it's recording my vocals. Um, as you can see here, this is gonna be a new take and it's all grouped. You can hear that it's still on. And then it's just gonna keep adding to the vocals. We'll stop that, I'm pretty sure you understand what's going on. Watch this video if you wanna know a more advanced way to use your vocal chains when recording to your songs. <laughs> 